Hey Taurus, this is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next 10 days love reading. This will be for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Just remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fits, leave the rest. Um, all links are in the description box below this video to book a reading, to follow me on Instagram. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Taurus, I hope you're doing well. Let's take a look and see what the energy the love energy is for your person the next 10 days going forward okay the present and the future so presently three of pentacles page of cups queen of wands the four of swords and i don't pull reversals um, the hanged man okay the future page of wands queen of pentacles high priestess the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some Romance Angels to see the overall energy for love for you for the next 10 days. Okay, so give me just a second, Spirit. What is the energy for Taurus? What do they need to know in regards to a love relationship here? Oh, why is this card sticking together? Oh. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay? So definitely a decision is being made here in the next 10 days um, as far as love goes. Let's see. You also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? Well, there's definitely an energy here of divine timing, Okay, but I feel like very soon there's an opportunity that's going to come where a decision will get made in regards to love. There is also new love. Okay, there may be a new person who is stirring your romantic feelings. Wow, Taurus. Right, let's get some clarifying cards very soon. This decision, this could be your person here. Um, or it's you. There's an energy here of like, do we wait? Do I wait for this connection? Do I wait for this love? Do I, or do I wait for new love? Okay. So you've got the four of swords here. Okay. There's a lot of like retreat happening here, perhaps with your person. Do I want to have a new start in this love relationship? But I feel like there's a decision here, taking some time out, not communicating, just kind of Getting some rest, retreat, um, recover, renewal, that kind of thing. Um, going within, meditating on this connection. Um, should somebody reach out and communicate about a decision or just really thinking about it right now, going within and thinking about it. Let's see what worth waiting for is. Okay, Queen of Wands is here again twice. Okay, so the Queen of Wands energy, this is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here is waiting for another person. Um, I feel like there's an energy too of waiting for a bold move to come in. Okay, waiting for someone to be sure about a decision that they want to make before taking action because queen of wands is action okay let's just see new love here and the high priestess is here again hmm so i feel like your person taurus is kind of like taking some time out to figure this out that's the overall energy if you're not communicating that might be why but I feel like they view you as, as with the Queen of Wands energy. You're spunky. You're a bit feisty. You're confident. You have your, you know, you're self-assured, that kind of thing. Um, they look at you as someone like, they don't see, they don't view you in a negative way. And I don't know if somebody needs to hear that because somebody, you, you might be feeling like that's how they feel about you or they think about you. Or that's why there's no communication or hasn't been or there's just this what's going on here um 
I feel like it's not because of anything negative. I just feel like they have a big decision they need to make in regards to you, in regards to love. Um, I don't really feel, though, that there may be somebody that has stirred romantic feelings in them, somebody else other than you, but I don't feel like this person is really sharing that or they're really um, giving in to that. They're not, like, it's like they sense this from another person and they feel it within themselves, but that high priestess energy gives me a feeling like they're keeping that to themselves. They're not even trying to communicate with another person right now because they're trying to figure something out here about your relationship. Now, presently, I do see communication coming in from them, that Page of Cups energy. This is kind of like, um, I feel like they want to express very gently how they feel about you. And I feel like they will express to you their desire to try to carve something out here between the two of you, but they're not sure how to go about it. They may be asking, like, what do you want? What do you need from me? What is, like, how can we do this? How can we go about, like, it's almost as if they're, like, a seeking your guidance for this relationship. Okay, um, and I, again, the Queen of Wands is sitting here, again, I feel like that's how they view you. Now, for some of you, could be involved with a fire sign. We also have Pisces, um, we have another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, um, but I just kind of get a sense that like you're at the center of the reading, which tells me that you're at the center of their mind. And again, with the Four of Swords here, this person is like trying to be enlightened about your relationship, about the love here. I do feel there's expression of love coming <clears throat> from this person towards you. But let's take a look at the Three of Pentacles, the energy. Of the, yeah, this person is really scared to not be with you. In fact, they're in like a poverty mindset right now. Um, they want to talk to you. They want to try to figure this thing out, but they're really not sure. They know you're worth waiting for, but they're just not sure how to go about this. You know, this decision to make. I really, Taurus, feel like this person's been thinking about your relationship. And the decision is about moving it forward in a healthy way okay yeah the four of cups is here to clarify the page of cups so they're definitely in this they're not interested in anybody else like i said they're they may have someone else who's interested in them but i feel like they're just staying hush hush they won't tell you about it because it'll just damage the relationship they're not interested in this other person so they don't feel like it's worthy for you to know okay um It's almost like they're keeping it a secret that somebody is maybe trying to have a new uh, some something with them, and I just don't feel like they're they're interested in this. You know, um, even if they are talking to this person and accepting their, you know, um, graciousness towards them, they're focusing on you. They want to be with you, and so that's why the Four of Cups is here. You know, their communication, their love expression is towards you and not towards anyone else that's trying to um, offer gifts or love or affection or anything like that. They're definitely apathetic towards others. Now, the Queen of Wands is here. They think you're very intuitive. Look, you guys have a very beautiful connection. That's how they view it. Um, this is romantic love. This is like... It feels very youthful. There's something youthful about this connection. And it feels like they are, like there's mutuality here between the two of you. I, they sense a kinship with you. And I really just feel here like they're praying about you, asking for guidance about how to approach or how to like connect with you or tell you something. This person. If you're worried or curious if they're sleeping with anyone else, I don't see that they are. They're all alone and their thoughts are on you. Yep, and how to move things forward. How to get this wheel turning. 
how to have this turning point with you. And the strength is here, okay? Sitting on the hangman. The hangman's like it's almost it almost feels like they're they're coming up with ideas. It's something to do with courage, is what I feel like. Waking up to the courage. Why do they need courage to reach out to you? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sensing hesitation with this person currently. Definitely. Like, I don't see them coming in with a strong offer. I see them just trying to, like, connect with you and see if you'll take their cup and see if you'll communicate with them their ideas about love or what they want to try to do. They may apologize or tell you they miss you. Um, they don't want to be, you know, left out in the cold. They want to go back to trying to work on something here with you. Now going forward, another page. There's an energy here of like being very excited and enthusiastic. Let's take a look here. Still withholding, still withholding a little bit. Um, they know what you need, Taurus. They're still, in, it feels like, like in this starting thing here, you know, like, I don't know if you guys are coming back together or they're trying to come back with you, but for some of you, that is what it is. And for others, it's just, maybe you just haven't spoken or something. They're still withholding a bit. They know what you need, but they're not ready to fully give everything because they're, I feel like they still want to stay connected with you, but they don't want to, um, they're still, uh, it's not, their, it's not that they're making their mind up about their love for you. I feel like it's, that's there. It's more like, how do we do this? Can it work? that kind of thing let's take a look at the queen of pentacles here okay the emperor is here yeah they know that you want them to come forward is with that emperor energy um he's the king of kings respectful uh taking a leadership role in this relationship being in the one who initiates um or uh like representing someone who can be counted on you know the emperor brings foundation and structure, you know, and he's a planner and he creates stable situations in a relationship. That's what you want. They know that that's what you need them to be. I feel like um, this person is definitely coming to terms, but it's like, they're, I don't, it's almost like, how do I do this? I feel like there's prayers or like, please give me the strength to be what Taurus needs me to be. So the queen, I'm sorry, the, um, what is wrong with me? The high priestess is here again. They're sorting things out here. Still keeping quiet about everything. Yeah, still kind of having their boundaries up a little bit. They're so, it just feels like a sense of like they're guarded because they're afraid that whatever they offer won't be good enough. They don't want to lose you. They know they got to give more than that page energy. They do come in with that Knight of Cups where they offer some kind of gift or some type of proof that they're really trying. And it's done, Taurus, because this person doesn't want to feel regretful. You know, um, I was saying in my other readings, rejection, well, rejection, you can get over that, you know, but regret that lasts a lifetime. This person does not want to be, doesn't want to make a bad decision about your relationship they, because they know that if they let you go or if they don't try or give you their best, they will live with regret. And so they're slow to take action here with you. Okay. Temperance is here. That's healing. You know, they're, they're moving in moderation, okay? Um, you might want this person to come in full force, but they're doing the whole self-control thing. Um, it might be because you guys were together and it ended and they got left alone or left out in the cold for some of you, but they want to bring balance and harmony and peace. And so they're just going very slowly to try to win your confidence back again here and this five of cups yeah they want to do the right thing so that they don't have that regret or that loss and be truthful i feel like this person could be truthful with you so we have sagittarius and libra and energy here as well um yeah they want to tell you the truth uh, some of that truth could have something to do with you know 
that they have regret or that they feel a sense of loss and they don't want to lose you. Okay, so let's take a look and see what a couple of messages here are for you with my Moon Pie Tarot cards. There's a link in the description box below if you'd like to purchase these. Um, let's see. Okay, spiritual principles. Traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path. What are your spiritual beliefs? Will you conform? What path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? Check yourself. Endure and be patient, okay? So these are two strong messages for you here. Um, if you're trying to make something work with this person, you'll have to be patient with them. They are asking and they wish for you to be patient with them as they reopen these doors with you. And they're, they're going to go slow because they just, for some reason, I feel like they don't want it, the door slam shut in their face. Okay. So let's take a look and see what their feelings are for you. I want to be more than friends. Sometimes that two of cups energy can come across that way to me. It's like the start of a relationship. It has potential for romance. Maybe right now um, they want to come in as your friend so that they don't scare you off. Um, now for somebody, this could be somebody new. So just take it as it resonates because you very well could be um, connected with someone who's a friend or love is beginning to spark up a little. Um, you may not be sure what to do, but I feel like this person wants to take it to be more than friends, whether it's an, a relationship you've already established in the past or somebody new. There is that element. I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Something must have happened, but for them to try to gain your confidence and trust again, they, they're aware. Yep, I know I messed everything up. Okay. That's uh, so what I was saying before. Maybe the apology coming in. This person cannot stop thinking about you. And the Four of Swords being there twice tells me, again, either they're praying or seeking guidance. They're always thinking about you before you, they, you know, when they wake up in the morning and when they go to sleep at night, you're the last, the first and last person on their mind. I'm so attracted to you. Wow, Taurus, this person's like, whew. and they want to tell you how they feel, Taurus, their truth, mostly that they miss you and they're sorry and they made a huge mistake or they messed up or they just want to fix something or repair something with you. This person buries themselves in work to forget you. They've been doing that. Um, Perhaps that's why some of you may have been like, where are they? What's going on? Why are they always working? Why aren't they talking to me? Why aren't they busy? You know, they, they tried to forget you, but it, it didn't work. Uh, you must have done something here, Taurus. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Okay, I don't, for some of you may have cut this person off, or you may have ghosted them or just said that was enough and you're out. And they had to let you go, and I don't feel like they wanted to let you go. So many things remind me of you. See, that's the thing. They tried to forget you, bury themselves in work. But everything they see, everything they touch, it's a movie, I hear a song, uh, somebody says something, somebody new comes in and they're thinking of you. This person is like, whew, they really have this thing for you here. Taurus, whomever they might be. All right, let's get a couple of um, Jesus messages here for you. Let's see what your scripture message is for the next 10 days. Now remember this reading can be, it's 10 days from when you click on it, okay? Um, please remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button while you're listening. Greatly appreciate that if you enjoy the video. Judge not that you not be judged Okay, Matthew 7, 1, I just had a major deja vu. My goodness, that just was more like a feeling, but this is an energy of like, try not to judge this person based on their past actions. Try to, you know, if you're going to accept this person back an apology or they are going to, you know, stay out of that judge, judging, criticizing type energy with this person and get into your Venus energy, which is all the love, okay? And the forgiveness that is did I say Matthew 7 1 okay your commitment is being tested right now that's what's going on here Taurus whatever the struggle was or is with this relationship 
Um, both of you, this is a test. It's just another test to pass, to move on to the next in this connection, okay? It's not over, it's just another test. Let's see, the energy is gaining momentum here. Okay, Taurus, and things are starting to pick up. I know we're in this Mercury retrograde, but I feel like the past usually comes back and you're probably going to get some type of, um, I feel, communication or this person coming back in. A time for healing. That's the purpose of this return. Healing this love, this relationship, these issues, whatever it was going on. Now, of course, I always say, you know, if you want to heal the relationship, if you can, but you both have to want it. It can't just be one, if one person can want it, but it won't work if both people don't want it. So I just wanna get um, some Chinese fortune messages here for you. Actually, I'm gonna pull a couple of angel wisdom messages here to see what, okay. We're giving you two right off the bat. Okay, you've got the seven of earth. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future, the need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future, an unnecessary worry. Okay, yeah, planting seeds, watching them grow takes time. That's why you are being asked to be patient and endure. And you've got the nine of fire, protect what you have created, be prepared, never give up, ask your angels for help, environmental activism and animal rights. Some of you might be involved in that at this time, and that's just really a clarifier that this is your reading. Okay, Five of Swords, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. I feel like as far as this relationship goes, this person in the past may have been lacking integrity or you did question that might have something to do why it didn't work out or there was a break. If you're going to take this person back, you have to make sure that this person is coming in with integrity, which is loyalty, um, honesty, um, you know, all of the those morals and is true and a good human being, okay? And truly trying to gain your confidence and your trust back. Okay, you have difficult times. Be on guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Okay, just be on guard. I feel like this is gonna, this person coming back in is really gonna have you feel in a certain way because a lot of you, I don't feel like, are expecting this. This is that Mercury retrograde return. Okay, so it's gonna have your emotions up. Some of you may have already moved on. You may be in other relationships right now, uh, or you may be trying to just be single and seek out somebody new. And there is a possibility somebody new could be coming in, but I do feel like this, this RX energy is gonna be playing out here. Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. So whew, one more opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be, be prepared and dress to impress. This person may come back in and try to ask for your hand in some type of marriage or commitment of some sort with you. Um, all right, let's get some charms. Okay, you have a bird. Definitely a message. Some of you may be seeing or uh, asking to see a particular bird to get confirmation if you have done that. Um, or to like, you know, like a particular bird, I don't, robin, cardinal, whatever, wherever the birds in your area you're asking. Um, doesn't It doesn't show specifically what kind of bird this is, but there's your bird. Um, this is your message here, that your angels are with you. Some of you have a bird, you, there's a bird right now, like chirping or parakeet or something. Okay, so we got the moon and the star, a little moon pie action going on here. Um, nighttime energy, definitely. There's some nighttime, I feel like this person reaching out to you will be in the evening, okay? Unexpected. Oh, wow. 
the swan. Gorgeous. I feel like that story, is it called The Ugly Swan? This is just about, it's symbolic. You know, maybe you're at the park right now and you see swans, you're walking around the lake or something and you're listening to this video. But there's also an energy here of like, what once was ugly, you know, symbolically in the relationship where times were hard and tough, there's a blossoming and, a, and something blooming into a beautiful opportunity for you. If you choose to take it, I feel like it, it will come forward for you. Look, here's a butterfly. Transformation is happening here. You might be seeing butterflies. Or there's something going on at night. Birds, butterflies, and, and then the night. The night. Okay. And here's a leaf. Okay. So. Hmm. I feel for some of you, something occurred during the months of um, the end of like September, October, November. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it was or your person has a birth date. I'm hearing um, either this person was September 1975 birth date or 57. Or 79 or somebody here you're listening you were you were born in 79 these numbers are coming through or 97 there's these numbers oh, for some even 57 but there's somewhere around the, that time I feel like is symbolic here I just want to get one more I think they're telling me to pull one one more charm and we're giving me two. Okay. So we've got the sun and the moon again. You two are definitely, one is introverted and one is very extroverted. One's a good communicator. One's out there. They're kind of assertive. They like to express themselves. And the other person is like still expressive, but more subdued. And there's a difficulty in understanding the communication. You know, the sun and the moon communicate by way of action. You know, they, they work in sync based on, you know, their purpose with each other. This, when the sun comes up, the moon goes down. They know exactly, they dance in tandem. They know exactly how to interact with one another. They accept each other, that they offer different things to the world. Okay, um, but at the same time, it's very yin yang energy. They complement one one another, but they have different purposes. Yet they are still working together. And I feel like that's a very strong message for you, Taurus. That even though there are some differences between the two of you, if you both can find that common purpose for your relationship, which would be love. Um, and acceptance and healing, unconditional love. I feel like you both will be able, despite your differences, to work in tandem and in unison to complement one another. That is, if you choose to, you know, you want to heal this connection with this person coming back around. So, yeah, that's going to be your message for the next 10 days. I hope that you enjoyed that. Please do hit like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this reading. And... Uh, if you're dealing with a Virgo, I do have a new Virgo channel and that is called House of Virgo here on YouTube and I upload daily messages there if you want to check them out. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.